Visualization is going to be a really important technology for the future of human biology. We have now instruments that take gross and approximate pictures of what happens to the brain or what happens to the liver or what happens to the muscle. And being able to take the dense and dynamic and personalized data clouds and correlate them with what is actually happening in the biology of the living organism is going to give us utterly powerful new tools, both for diagnostics, for thinking about new approaches to defining uh, disease mechanisms, and ultimately, it almost certainly will give us insights into the whole business of uh, drug discovery and so forth. Being able to visualize the three-dimensional composition of a tumor would be very important for research. That visualization could also be coupled with data. AR, VR would be a very powerful technology to explore the three-dimensional folding and conformation of proteins in diseases such as cancer. Imagine immersing people into an experience where they can see what it's like at the molecular level or, um, or understand the different scales of how a disease manifests. That can really be an impactful way to convey the type of work that we do. We are a uh, Seattle-based digital holographic studio that's focused on mixed reality and virtual reality. We're really excited about virtual and mixed reality and how it can change life sciences in general. Uh, the ability to manifest a hologram of a human organ and break it down into a variety of different systems, to be able to annotate it, collaborate on it at a distance, uh, share that information with others and build on it together is a new capability that's never existed before. And we think it's going to revolutionize medicine, life sciences in general. Because biological systems are emergent and they are complex and they are dynamic, they, they aren't going to be easily described or explained in two dimensions and definitely not in a, in a linear way. They really need to be understood in multiple dimensions and in a non-linear time space. Visualizing anything of that complexity, you would need a visualization tool that's on the same level as reality and virtual reality and mixed reality is that future. I think this collaboration between ISB and Eight Ninths has the potential to reveal new models for collaborating on data, for understanding biology and dynamic systems, and visualizing and interacting with them in entirely new ways. We will develop visualization tools that will allow us to superimpose changes in biological information with changes in the human organism and bring together deep and fundamental insights into how one causes the other and ultimately into improving wellness, letting us more effectively avoid disease.